Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Tafalarota. It's a beautiful day in Poland, so sending lots of sunshine to everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video showing all the swaps I recently have done with people. I have to say I love tarot swaps. It's amazing. I scored some beautiful decks and I send off some beautiful decks which I haven't used or I haven't connected with and well I highly recommend it to anyone. So um, I did receive Raven's Prophecy tarot deck with a book and I don't know I, I really love this deck. I connected with it straight away I didn't have any issues with understanding the pictures, they flow nicely for me. Um, just show you a few images, I'm sure all of you know it, but um, we'll see what comes up. I haven't put them in any order, I keep using this deck all the time, every day, just to get to know it. That's how I'm feeling today. Mm -hmm. Might be the five retrograding planets. So as you see, this deck is uh, unusual looking, but the meanings of the cards, like whatever she tried to express through the art, is actually very closely connected to Rider Waite Smith system, and for me it's very easily recognizable. So despite the kind of initial shock that wow, what is it? <laughs> you can very easily follow follow it if you know Rider Waite Smith system. Yes, so this was the Raven's Prophecy Tarot. Thank you, Anya. And then I received... I know that for some it will be, well, amazing, but I haven't really known much about this deck. Um, I did receive the Bohemian Gothic Tarot, the regular ve version, third edition, so with, the, <clears throat> with these bags. I actually really love it. I didn't uh, suspect it's going to be like that clear and... I don't know, it's got this really funky sense of humor. So this darkness, it's not pure, uh, purely for the darkness sake, but um, it's kind of funny and actually it's really deep. Um, I also thought um, that might be just suited, you know, for darker months and so on and etc. But actually I think you can use it easily um, like an everyday deck. I have to get to know it. The only one, like, the only kind of reservation which I have about receiving so many decks at, at once, like, I didn't get time to work with it. So I'm working now with Dark Goddess Tarot and with Tarot of the She, which I bought like a month ago, and I've been doing it for a month, and I still want to do it for the next month or so. And all the new decks are kind of put on hold and waiting for my attention to be given to them. And I received some beautiful decks. So that's the Bohemian Gothic Tarot with a beautiful Baba box. And then I received the Joy de Vivre Tarot by Paulina Cassidy. And I, I don't know, I pulled this little card as like I shuffled the deck and I just asked for one card which this deck would represent for me. And I got teary, I don't know, I'm just having one of those days today, but I just thought, wow, this is kind of me. But what it reminded me of, that even when you create, when you do your magic in your life, like work with natural forces, I don't know, I just looked at all those moons and I thought, these are like moon phases, like you can't push too hard when there's like five retrograding planets and the dark moon, you know, the... Just wait for it, just be patient, find your find your rhythm, find find your own rhythm and also follow the natural rhythms so you don't actually bash against the natural flow of things. And that's what this card reminded me of. And this deck is so gorgeous. Um if you're kind of into the fantasy art, Paulina Cassidy also did the Paulina Tarot, and I think this one is a little bit clearer. Paulina Tarot is beautiful as well. I don't personally have it, but um, yeah, this artwork kind of grew on me. It's very bright, colorful. Um, there are a few darker cards, so and it's also kind of Rider Waite Smith based. So 
quite easy to use. It's a very nice deck for now when there is so much sunshine and spring is bursting into life. So if you don't know this deck, just take a look online and check out her artwork. It's gorgeous. So that's Paulina Cassidy, Joy the Beer. Then there was a beautiful lady in Poland who was just giving away decks for the postage price. So I scored um, little, what is it? I'm so Visconti, yeah, Visconti Tarot. It's not the edition with the gold on it, but it's quite small. It's got nice bags. I like it. It's kind of, um, yeah, I like traditional decks. So. I'm excited every time I can see how Tarot evolved and what was happening to it and how the images changed over time. I'm always curious about those green things. Lots of females in this deck have like green gloves. I thought in Empress maybe it represents the green thumb <laughs> and that she's um, like nurturing and caring, you know, like gives hope and so on. But <clears throat> then I noticed that quite a few of the females have it. And like this lady has it as well on one hand. It's the left hand, so I don't know, maybe it symbolizes love or... I haven't read anything about it yet. So that's Visconti, traditional bag. Then she also was giving away the... Um, Tarot de Marseille, only the major arcanas, the bags are like this, and this is the bigger version, it's nearly as big as my hand. I'm not sure, that didn't, came with, didn't come with any booklet, so I'm not sure um, what edition is it. It's uh, published by Los Carabillo, but I'm not sure exactly. Definitely Conver based, but I'm not sure if it's Conver, Converse Tarot. I don't have Converse Tarot de Marseille. So just your typical Marseille pictures. The sun looks a little bit different. It's kind of more colorful, happy, happy dancing. Um, but everything else, it's kind of similar. The coloring, coloring is different, much more yellow. So Tarot de Marseille, Majors Omni, and then also um, the Egyptian Tarot. This is a Polish version with a cool bags. And I saw other versions which have like different colored signs, blue. But this has this amazing golden, sh golden foil on it. I'm not very much into Egyptian Tarot at all, but... I actually really love this deck. It's so beautiful. Like, look at the Three of Swords. Wow. Very striking. I also love this, the High Priestess. Um, <laughs> full. Love this. I love the Moon card. Um, let me show you the Four of Swords. The sword suit is beautiful. Strength. Where is the moon? Yeah, look at the moon. And then they have this golden foil put like in a circular way. So it actually reflects like the moon. It's gorgeous. And Wheel of Fortune. So that's the... Egyptian tarot, which is also known, I think, as Tarot de Neferati. So you can check it out in English version. I will put the link below just in case I pronounced it wrong. And there was one more swap for the amazing soul cards. And this one was a mixture. I've sent beautiful Nina uh, Kamienie Wróżo decks from Poland, but I also, I don't know if you know, but I also make crystal tools and I have a Facebook page called Wands of Transformation and I make like crystal wands, 
So I'm just going to do a little bit of self busting here. <laughs> so um, this is my Sufi wand, for example. I don't know if you can see his face and his head wear. Um, I create tools uh, from natural elements. So mostly I collect the wood wherever I go. And mostly I use either driftwood or this was found on top of the mountain. It's a juniper berry branch. Uh, I love crystals and I also use natural crystals in all my creations. So this is for example a um, alligator wand. So I also work often with natural energies like elemental powers or animal powers. This is my Baba Yaga wand with tectite. And I also make uh, wands which you can wear. So Nina wanted one which you can put on. So like a little pendant. I always give um, descriptions to my tools. I very often hear the name of the tool or energy which it was influenced mostly by. So for example, sometimes I make goddess wands if I feel or I work a lot with certain energy and then kind of a tool wants to manifest itself and yeah, it's, it's usually created then like very organically and naturally in the flow. So some of the other ones, I don't know how to show them, which I make. So this is my High Priestess with magpie feathers. And so this is an aquamarine wand with an abalone shell. Um, that's my special Moldavite tool with aspen branch. It's a gorgeous green color, but you can't really see in this light. And there's a weed wife with a cool, um, you can see the little chloride in the quartz, I don't know, I just felt like it has this green core and peacock feathers and driftwood from Thailand from my holidays. So this one is bigger, as you can see they have different sizes. So for one of those ones and for little Kamienie Vrujo decks, two of them, I received the soul cards from beautiful Nina and the soul cards, I combine them all together. I've got soul cards one and soul cards two and they're really beautiful. They soulful. This is, I think, a great name for them and they definitely awaken a response, emotional response in me when I watch, when I look at them. So I started just pulling one or two a day maybe as an inspiration and as a challenge or lesson or energy to be more creatively or um, used or more aware of. And they are beautiful. So thank you, Nina. Oh, one more. Gorgeous. That reminds me of Temperance from Tara. So as you see, I love tarot traits amazing i have to look through more of my videos i <laughs> through more of my decks and see if i'm um if i can go of something else i know that sometimes uh, i'm changeable i'm a changeable being so sometimes i think oh i don't like this deck and then a month later i'm like oh it's my favorite deck ever so i'm kind of a bit uh, careful about um letting some of my decks go but it's actually so much fun to let go of the decks which you haven't used for years and you like them but you just not you know you're not working with them maybe it's not the resonating uh, you never don't, don't resonate with them right now so it's amazing to just let them go and receive some new amazing decks to play with and then maybe change them again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it guys. Uh, I love tarot traits. Let's do more videos about those and let's just circulate tarot. Um, I'm wishing you a very good day. See you later.